The um, original concept of the stable flex socket started out trying to develop a socket system that worked well with pin lock systems. And my own personal experience uh, with uh, prosthetic wear, we really made an attempt to totally eliminate the pressure on the patellar tendon and have a, a much more narrow ML design and a much wider AP dimension to allow easy engagement of the pin uh, and really eliminate the pressure on the patellar tendon. The initial success of this was very good, but it really didn't carry over into suction or vacuum sockets well with this front design. So the stable flex design has kind of evolved into just a smooth front and actually a narrow ML, still a narrow ML, and a very wide AP, even wider than it measures at times. It really is designed to promote blood flow in the limb, make it easy to get in the socket, but have a really good place to secure weight bearing and not drop too far in the socket, but using pressure on the medial tibial flat rather than a tight AP in a patellar bar. The original concepts in sockets that were the PTB design and later the total surface bearing design neither worked very well with a pin system because it was too difficult to engage in the case of the PTB and difficult to control rotation in the case of the total surface bearing. So this concept also employs the concept of total contact but uneven pressure distribution. So pressure tolerant areas are loaded and pressure sensitive areas are de-emphasized so you get a feeling of total contact and you have total contact but it's not even as far as pressure goes but what we're looking for from the patient is a feeling that it's an even pressure in the socket. The uh, thing we also incorporated was a copolymer test socket and pin systems this made it easier to get an airtight fit around the lock and um, made a very safe uh, socket that they could wear. We could analyze the fit and we could also get this to the patient if they so desired for a backup or shower prosthesis. Then we still typically use a composite uh, fabrication for the finish either with or without a flexible inner socket and uh, we're able to in this system offset our alignment if that's the optimum alignment in the patient and do this in one a one-step lamination and we use our basalt composite which is a much safer composite uh, and more flexible than carbon uh, and uh, it has worked out uh, very well for us. That's really what this uh, course will cover, and I hope you enjoy it.